Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 8th of September 2024. I hope you are keeping well. I don't know how much of your weekend is left. There isn't much of mine left. There's just a couple of hours now. It's dark. It's uh, I've just finished work <clears throat> a bit earlier than I expected to finish actually. That's okay. Sunday evening. Um, and uh, tomorrow is Monday. You're out again. Uh, so I should be playing the Los Angeles Times Expert Level Puzzle in just a moment. Hold on for that. Um, I was saying yesterday um, that uh, ignorance can sometimes be bliss in terms of language. You know, like I was talking about uh, me hearing music and stuff like that. Well, <laughs> that came back in such a very, very weird way today. Something very strange happened today. Unusual. Uh I just thought it was not, I've not noticed anything like this before in Thailand, but um, I was, I, I went swimming and um, when I came out of the pool, uh, it started to rain and I thought, oh no, I, I need to get back because I've got to take, to the cat, take the cat to the hospital. And I didn't have my car because usually I go on a motorbike taxi. It's a very short journey. I, I could actually just walk it technically, but it started to rain and I thought, oh no, I better get in a taxi. So I jumped in a taxi and there was an old man driver. I say old man, he was, he looked to be in his 70s, I guess, something like that. And uh, he wasn't particularly handsome, I didn't think, but, <laughs> and there's relevancy to this, I'll tell you in a second. Um, and uh, so I, you know, I, I told him where I wanted to go and I speak Thai. So, you know, I, I explained fairly clearly the place that I was, that my destination and uh, I would assume from that that he would know that I could speak Thai because if I didn't, if I'd said it incorrectly, it would have, you know, maybe spoken English to me or tried to speak English to me or asked me what I meant or something like that. But, you know, he just didn't say anything. He just went in that direction. And um, we got stuck in the traffic. It's my, my area is a nightmare during the weekends now. It's really hectic. Uh, the, the, the traffic just doesn't move. In fact, the taxi fare was more than three times the cost that it normally would cost and the taxi is more expensive than the motorbike so I, but that's not why I'm telling you this story <laughs> I'm telling you this story because I was sitting in the back and not doing anything not checking my phone or anything like that I don't bother it's not an emergency and he answered the telephone uh, a couple of times actually but the second time he did uh, he was. I could hear the person he was speaking to. He was speaking to a woman on the other end, and he was telling her to leave her husband, <laughs> and explaining why. But then it, the conversation got really outrageous because he went into pornographic detail about everything. Oh um, my god i mean i mean i i'm too old to be embarrassed at things like that I'm, I'm not really embarrassed but but it you know it really was quite shocking i mean i people don't express such uh, sentiment in public or they ought not to it's ought to be a private kind of thing i mean he went into extreme graphic detail about all of the activities he was planning i and i promise you it was extremely graphic he even well, no, I can't. I can't tell you. I just don't want to tell you too much. It's it's just you, once you've heard it, you don't want to you don't want to hear it again. You can't unhear it, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's funny now, but I thought, my God, man, give it up. And she didn't sound very young. The woman on the other end, I have no idea. But her voice didn't sound very young. Uh, but she didn't. I don't know if she was impressed or not. But <laughs> I, yeah, I think you ought to be impressed. <laughs> but. But come on, I've never experienced complete strangers just, uh, you know, a taxi driver just saying such things, uh, really pornographic things like, you know, they just saying they just sat there in the back of a taxi. I guess I guess taxi drivers do offer pornographic services to, to tourists, right? When you jump in a taxi, if they think you're a tourist, they'll offer a list of services they think they could acquire for money for you. Uh, so I suppose there's that. But but that's that's a different thing. I, I think that's not really the same thing <laughs> anyway. Anyway, uh, when I got out, he told me that when I got out and I had to speak to him a bit more like about giving some final directions. And then he said, oh, oh, you speak to in Thai. He said that he told me that I spoke Thai very well and I kind of didn't comment. <laughs> yeah, I understood everything that you just said. 
anyway that was my um uh, unusual ex taxi experience um fun i suppose uh, if you like that sort of thing let's get on with the game of sudoku shall we i've kept you waiting long enough like that man's kept his woman waiting long enough we've got fours blocking across here that's going to give me a four there four blocking up here four across there that's going to be a four in that square there Have you noticed anything else yet? Mm. Two's across here and there and down there, so there's two. Two across here gives us two in that square. So yeah, two blocking this square, this square, this square, this square, this square means that's a two. I'm not seeing anything, so let's wander around the Garden of Delights uh, in our grid system, looking and see, maybe drawing in a few blue squares to help remember some positioning. Oh, I've just noticed sixes block up there, look. And nine blocks up here. There's a nine, and that would be a five. I noticed that while looking for the fives. And now we've got five and nine across here, five and nine up there. So we have a pair of five and nine in those squares. Uh, now we've got two across here, two across there, so that would be our two. Two down here, two up there, there's a two. Uh, two across here, two up there, two down there, and two is finished. Now what did I say about this? This was five and nine, so in these squares we're looking for one, three, eight. So eights will be here and down there. So five and so threes will be there and somewhere there. Okay, start again.
but we've got 9 blocking those two squares and 9 blocking this square so there's our 9 in fact and this is our 5 so I didn't really I said the 5 and 9 there without really searching to see if I could put them into position I didn't realize that I could actually do that but I've done it now so there you are you can stop writing your comment now three four five in those squares there we've got four and five together that then will be our three Uh, 5 blocking this square, 5 blocking this square, so in this column there's our 5. Uh, this is going to be a pair of 1 and 3. One blocks this square here. In this column, there's our one. And the last number to get in this column is three. Three and six here, three and six here, blocking across and across here. So we get a pair of three and six in those squares. Three blocks down here. There's the three, there's the six. Missing numbers across here, one, four, nine. We've got four and nine together. That will be our one. Four blocks this square. Here's our four. This will be nine. across here here's our one block blocks up there there's our one this will be whatever I said it would be before three three across here and three down there and there's our three three across here and three the threes are finished earlier than I expected them to be actually I thought threes were going to be a problem oh they're not finished <laughs> I thought huh where are we oh yeah there's one up here that's better I was thinking they, they were going to take quite some time, the threes, actually, but no, in fact, not to be. Eights block across here and up there. There's an eight, and the missing digit here is not a two, seven. Uh, 
one blocks this square so here's our one the last number in this column nine I think nine across here gives us nine in that square and nine to the top and across there means that's a nine that's nine finished missing number here is six five blocks this square we don't have five in this column yet let's put it there put it there pal eight goes here eight goes there uh, what are we left with here seven and something five and seven five blocking across there there's our five that would be our seven over here a one is the last digit for the row and we also have one blocking down here and across here that might finish the ones it does indeed okay what's so one two three and nine are done let's see can we do any more with the fours yep we got four blocking down here so there's a four we can have and also we can finish this with a seven and the last number here is five i think five blocking up here there's our five and this will be i don't know four four blocking down here there's our four and this will be a seven seven down here gives seven in that square seven across here and down there for a seven uh, here we're looking for an eight eight across here gives eight in that square this will be six that's a six that's our los angeles times uh expert level puzzle over for a sunday thank you very much for joining me this weekend take care bye bye